Hey everyone, do you watch a lot of videos on your computer? I know I do. You might even be watching this video right now on your computer. Well, what I want to show you today is something that will not only save you time, but it'll also enhance your video watching experience. And so what I want to show you is the Video Speed Controller extension. Uh, this is a browser extension that basically allows you to speed up or slow down videos that you're watching. So what I have up here is the Google Chrome extension page. Uh, this is a Chromium based extension, which means it will work with other browsers as well that are Chromium based. Uh, so it'll work in browsers like Edge, Brave or Opera. Um, and there's also a Firefox extension as well. And so one of the great things about this extension is that it's free and open source. So here we are on the GitHub page. Um, so before we dive into it though, you might be wondering, well, why would I even want to watch my videos played back faster? Um, there's been some studies done and it turns out that humans are much better at consuming information than we are at presenting it, or we can consume it a lot faster, I should say, than we can present it. And so a lot of the times people would prefer to say, watch a recording of a meeting or a presentation so that they can play it back sped up a little bit. Um, otherwise, if they're just watching it at the regular speed, um, you might find yourself sort of getting bored or your mind wandering off. So you're not as engaged. You're just not enjoying it as much. What we have here um, in this extension is basically it will work for any HTML5 video, which is pretty much what all the video on the internet is these days. And so what the extension is, is it will put some controls up in the top left of your video. So here we can see them. And it shows you sort of the playback speed that they're watching at, and then it allows you to speed up the playback and slow it down. And uh, apart from the controls that show up in the video, there's also keyboard shortcuts that you can assign. And so here they are. So let's go ahead and just jump right into uh, taking a look at what this looks like. Okay, so what I have here is just a regular YouTube video and it's actually just a stopwatch counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it and you can see it's counting up. Uh, so one thing you might notice is up on the top left, we have the 1.0. And so this is just showing right now the video is playing back at the regular speed, one, one time speed. Uh, so when I hover my mouse over it, I can go ahead and click on the little plus button to speed up the playback. So now it's playing at one and a half times speed, or I can keep going and move it up to two times speed. Um, and if you want, you could even go further. You can just keep increasing it and increasing it to five, 10 times playback speed if you really wanted. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the R key. That's just one of the hot key shortcuts and that resets it back to the normal one time speed. Um, the other things in the controls here that you might notice are these little arrows left and right. So this just allows you to jump forward 10 seconds. So I can keep clicking it and clicking it and clicking it. Um, or if you wanna jump back 10 seconds, you can click this to quickly jump back. Um, so that's really convenient. Um, some people though, you might not like always seeing this up in the corner of your videos that you're watching. So you can go ahead and also just click on the little X. Uh, once it's gone though, you can't really get it back without using the keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is V. Um, but speaking of that, let's just go take a look at some of the hotkeys that we can use with this. Uh, so here we have the icon for the extension. I'm just gonna click on it and go into the settings. And so here are all of the shortcut keys that are assigned by default. Right now, these are all the default settings. Uh, so you press the V key to show or hide the controls like I just showed. Um, you can use the S key to decrease the playback speed by 10%, uh, D to increase it by 10%. Uh, the Z key will rewind by 10 seconds. The X key will fast forward by 10 seconds. And the R key reset, resets the playback speed back to 1.0. Uh, another really nice thing with the extension is you can also set a preferred playback speed. So if you find you like watching a lot of your videos at 1.5 speed, you could just hit the G key uh, to instantly uh, move the playback speed to 1.5. I'm just going to leave this at 1.8 because that's what I like. Um, you can also add more hotkeys if you like. Um, so maybe you want to add additional hotkeys for maybe increasing or um, fast forwarding by say uh, 60 seconds instead of 10 seconds. So here I can see the L key is gonna increase by 60 seconds. And then I could go ahead and hit the save button on the bottom. And now anytime I pressed L in my video, it would fast forward 60 seconds at a time. Um, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna say restore defaults. Um, but yeah, so one of the really nice things that I love about it, um, about this extension is I don't use these controls with the mouse very often. I almost always use the keyboard shortcuts. And so here you can see, I'll just press D 
and it increases that playback speed. So if I just keep pressing D, I can go up, 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 and S to go down, 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 down. Um, like I said, R to reset it. You can hit G to go to your global playback speed, uh, the one that you like, and you can set up multiple preferences. Uh, so I know what you might be thinking at this point is, Dan, why are you showing me this extension? Like YouTube already has all these controls built in. A lot of websites, a lot of players already allow you to control the playback speed. And you're right, so here down in the settings, uh, if we want, we could go to playback speed, and right here we could set it to, you know, one and a half or two. Um, so what you might notice though is you don't get quite as fine-grained uh, control in the playback speeds. Um, but there's a number of other reasons right now that I'm going to go over with you that you might still want to use the extension. Um, so like I said, a big one is the keyboard shortcuts. They're a lot quicker. You don't have to reach for the mouse. Um, but you might also find things like, um, say on Facebook, uh, maybe you're scrolling through videos. And so here I'm just going to use the D key to increase the, the playback speed to one and a half. But you'll notice as I scroll down, now all of my videos are already playing at one and a half speed. I don't have to go and select the gear and change the playback speed manually on every video that I watch as I'm scrolling through, right? So that's really nice. Um, another reason would be uh, things like Netflix, say you might want to watch a show. Let's go see if this loads. Um, but a lot of them don't offer all the playback speeds that you might want. So here Netflix only allows you to go up to one and a half times speed. Um, I know my wife, we were watching Game of Thrones together at one point, and then, you know, I had to work, she was sick, she watched, binged a whole bunch of episodes, and I wanted to catch up, so I actually went and watched those at two times speed. Um, so, you know, not all the players give you the same, allow you to watch videos or control the playback speed as nicely as this extension does. Um, same sort of thing, TED Talks, um, they only give you a limited number of playback speeds to choose from. Uh, so yeah, that's one reason to use the extension. Another one is some websites or don't even allow you to control the playback speed at all. So things like TikTok, they don't give you any controls. But if I want, I can just use the controls here. I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut though, because I like that. And now the video is playing at one and a half speed, right? And I can scroll down. You can see this one, it didn't automatically increase the playback speed uh, like they had before on Facebook. Um, but if you want though, you can still just quickly use the S and D keys or change those if you want something else or just press G, you know, it's for your global uh, speed that you like. So I can scroll down and just hit G. Couldn't really see it there, but hit G and it quickly bumps it up to 1.8. Um, so that's another reason to use the extension. Uh, other websites too, maybe like CTV or whatnot, they don't offer any playback controls at all. But again, you'll notice here's my browser extension. I can still speed this up if I want, right? Um, other websites like Steam, maybe you want to watch, you know, a video game trailer, but you want to speed it up. So now I can do that as well. They don't offer any controls to do this, but I can use the browser extension to do it. Um, same sort of thing, Plex, um, which is a pretty major uh, video, you know, it's a video watching service. You think they would offer some playback speed controls, but they don't. So if you want to watch videos faster on Plex, uh, you can use this browser extension to do it. Um, and the other reason is sometimes even if it's uh, a video that does offer playback controls like YouTube, like YouTube videos, I already showed they do have the playback speed controls, but sometimes developers, if they're embedding a YouTube video in their website, they can disable those controls. And so this is one example of it where here, this is a video, it is a YouTube video, but there's no way to control the playback speed. They actually remove those controls, but luckily, you know, I can still use the browser extension to speed this up if I want. And so that's really nice. And again, if you don't like sort of seeing this always up there, just hit the V key and it goes away. And maybe you don't want to show or see those controls on every video by default. You can just check this off to hide the controller by default. And that way it'll, it won't show up by default. You'll have to hit the V key to show it. Um, but all of the other hotkeys will still work even if you don't see uh, the playback speed there. You can still increase and decrease the speed. And the other thing, uh, you can also control the opacity of the controller. So you would notice before it was kind of uh, see-through, right? You can see the purple behind it. If you want to make it fully opaque, you can just change this to 1.0. We'll save this. Uh, just come back here and refresh our page. And you'll notice the control. Now you can't see through it anymore. It's fully opaque. 
And so the only other thing I want to call out here, I'm just going to restore all the defaults, hit save. Um, but you'll notice by default it has some websites blocked. So um, by you know, if you're just using the out-of-the-box settings, this won't work on Twitter and it won't work on Instagram. So I typically want to use this on every website, so I wipe that out and just save the settings. This is what I wanted to show you today. Uh, basically, the Video Speed Controller browser extension, I'll have links to it in the video description for both uh, Firefox and the Chromium-based browsers, where you can download and install the extension from. Uh, but yeah. Watching videos faster, it saves you time, makes the videos more enjoyable for yourself. Um, I love this browser extension. There's a lot of other ones out there for controlling the playback speed. I haven't experimented with too many because I've been using this one for so long, for many years. Um, so if you know of a better one, feel free to drop a comment to let me know about it um, and why it would be better. But this is the one that I've been using for a long, long, long time. I'm super happy with it. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and that it encourages you to download and install the extension and make your uh, video watching experience more pleasant and save you time. Thanks.